everyone and welcome to my tutorial on how to copy builds from one world to another. So to begin, and it will be pretty easy to do because it makes use of the structure blocks implemented in a recent release. If you see behind me here, I've got these two horse statues facing each other and I've also got the corners of all of them marked out. So here we have the granite there and over here as well. And those are the four corners. Nothing goes beyond it to the right, left, up or down. So to begin, you first want to find the negative X negative y and negative z so if we hit f3 and you can see right in this area here it says towards negative z so we want to be off in this direction so we know we're going to be uh, looking at some of the back markings and then if we look this way it says toward negative x negative y is just the bottom so this block here is the negative x negative y and negative z block this is the furthest negative in each direction and this will be where you want to start to make it the easiest it will work from other blocks but it will really make it much simpler to begin here so if I get out of F3 you then want to do slash give and then your username Minecraft and then structure and it should fill it in there structure block and if we go ahead and place that down right there and then go ahead and open that we're gonna to want to change data mode over to save mode so we're ready to file first give it a name I'm gonna call it horse and that goes on the top line like that and then relative position I'm gonna make that zero 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 and then structure size. Now this is where you need the dimensions of what uh, you want to do. Sometimes detect might work, although I haven't quite uh, figured out how to use that. If you have figured that out, do let me know down below because I'm pretty curious to see how that actually works. But if we look here, you need to know exactly how high it is and how wide it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab those dimensions. So now it should be noted that if you wanna do something that is larger than 32 blocks, you're gonna need to do this twice and you're gonna have to kind of split it up into different portions before doing this because it caps out at 32. So I just did one of the horses and that's 17 along the x-axis, 17 high and two along the z-axis. Z is going that way, you can see it's only two wide and x is going that way. And now you will also see that it has a border going around it. It is entirely bounded. So let's go ahead and get rid of those extra blocks that we don't want to copy that we're, we were just using for markings here. We got those, that one, and then we've also got the two at the top. Let's get rid of those right there. And then we'll come back down here. So horse, correct relative position all correct and the structure size is also all correct so we're going to go ahead and hit save and now it says structure saved as horse so then you want to go into the world saves folder for the world you were just in you can see that on the left and you want to copy the structures subfolder go in then and paste that into the world save folder of the new world that you want to put it into you can see that on the right and notice how the structures folder does not already exist that's because in the new world unless it's different for you. I have not created any structures yet, so it hasn't yet created the folder. Then you can go back into the world and I'm gonna go ahead and place a structure block right here using set block at this location, Minecraft structure underscore block. And whoa, where'd it go? There it is. And we're gonna go ahead and hit load. We called it horse and relative position 000, just like we had it before. Integrity and seed, you can change that to make it look a little bit broken down. If you're going for kind of like an old feel, you can change the bounding box as well. I'm gonna leave it on. And then this I believe is rotation, but I'm not entirely sure. If you guys know, do let me know. I'm always willing to learn more about this stuff. And then you can also copy entities over from the other world as well. I'm not gonna do that though. And then you hit load. It'll first prepare the area. You can see the box that looks about the same size as we had before. It'll also say structure whatever you called it, position, prepared, and then open this back up and hit load. And there is now our big old horse. And you can see that the texture actually changed on this because it swapped back to save mode. So you could also save it again. And then it keeps the size as well, everything that we had before. So all looking pretty cool, complete copy, absolutely perfect, and really, really helpful, especially if you're doing redstone or maybe if you have a test build and you wanna put it into another world, all very, very helpful and really quite easy in my opinion. So hopefully this has been helpful. But anyway, go ahead and subscribe for more and I'll see y'all next time.